now that we've talked about coordinate notation as well as what an isometry is, let's look at vector notation. Vectors are used to express both a distance traveled, a distance move, and the direction of the movement. They're different from a ray. A ray is an actual object. It's like a segment or a line. It exists. A vector tells us what direction we're moving in and by how much. So below, vector AB is read as vector AB. Vectors have the following parts. It has a name. We name it starting with our starting point, A, and then putting our ending point. To figure out which point's the ending point, you want to look for the tip of the arrow on your vector. This makes B our ending point. We draw a line, and then be really careful here. Ray, or rays look like this. They have the full arrowhead. That's a ray. A vector only has the top part of the arrowhead. That's how we know the difference between working with a ray and a vector. So here we have ray AB. This ray has an, in, or this vector, ray AB, I'm sorry, vector AB. This vector has this initial point, which is the starting point, and that's point A. And this point vector has a terminal point, or an ending point, and that's point B. Then looking above, our vector has a horizontal distance covered and a vertical distance covered. Horizontally, we cover seven units. Vertically, we cover three units. This gives us the horizontal component, which is horizontal distance covered of seven. Remember, if you move right, it's positive. If you move left, it's negative. Same idea applies to vertical component. If you go up, we're positive. If you go down, we're negative. So our vertical component is a positive 3. Together, the horizontal and the vertical component make up your component form. Vectors can be written in component form, which uses the triangle parentheses, or at least that's what I call them. They're angled parentheses, and combines the horizontal and the vertical components. So we write the horizontal first, and then the vertical. And this is the component form for vector AB. So vector AB tells us we go seven units to the right and three units up. Let's look at some examples. Give the name and the component form for the following vectors. You can try this on your own first, pause the video, and resume when you're ready to see the solution. All right, for here, we start at A, we go up to B. So our vector's name is A, B. We see that we do not go any distance to the right or the left, but we do go four units up. Thus, my vector component is 0, 4. Let's look at this next one. And let's rename this. We're going to rename it J, K. Well, I'm going from J to K. So my vector's name is J, K. And I'm going first four units to the left, and then four units down, which makes my vector component negative four, negative four. Please be careful that if you're moving down or to the left, you make sure that that component has a negative sign on it.